One of the things we've had lots of fun with over the past several weeks with our rare book moments is a sort of guessing game. And um, we've done it a few different times. We've had some feedback on it. And I wanted to play that little game again today. And what we have today are four little items. They're all skinny little printed things that we in the trade call ephemera. They're called ephemera because they were intended to be printed for an ephemeral moment, not intended to last a long time. They were printed for a specific purpose, and then when that purpose was over, they were history, so to speak. Uh, in this case, the four items are a little dance card from 1883 that a lady would have used when she went to the cotillion or what have you, and um, the gentleman that she danced with would fill in the, the sign, sign in, and um, that's one thing. This one is um, an advertising gimmick, really. It's by a printer, and uh, this particular printer happens to be up in Rochester, and he's advertising his printing um, and paper and what the various things he can do. Based on this little flag, we know it was published somewhere around 1880, 1885, about the same time as the little uh, dance program. This one, we're coming up on one of our elections, this one is The Intelligent Woman's Guide to Conservatism, and it's one of 12 essays that Russell Kirk did, um, evidently in response to uh, George Bernard Shaw uh, did a book entitled The Intelligent Woman's Guide to Socialism. And apparently about 1950, Russell Kirk um, answered that with The Intelligent Woman's Guide to Conservatism and wrote a series of essays on that. And the last one is something that's near and dear to our St. Petersburg hearts. It's an advertisement for a particular um, housing development near or in St. Petersburg on a part of the, the city and called Snell Island. These particular things are interesting because here in Florida an awful lot of our early history is bound up in these promotional brochures that, uh, and also that's true I guess of California, maybe Colorado, newish places. People could come to these places with the car and, and um, after World War II, along about 1950, 1955, there were big developments. So those are the four items. So which one of these has the best value, or the most value? The first thing we looked at was a dance card from Monday, December 17th, 1883 in which uh, the young lady would have had all of her bows uh, sign the card in order to get a dance with her, a quadrille or a waltz or a polka. December 17, 1883. Number two was the printer's advertisement in which he showed off his ability to use different inks and fancy papers from about 1880 or 85. The third item was Russell Kirk's The Intelligent Woman's Guide to Conservatism. It was one of four essays. This one in particular is Conservatives and Individuality. It was published out of Wisconsin in about 1955 during the Eisenhower period. And the fourth one is the advertisement for the Florida development here in St. Petersburg with the fold-out map and the you are here and all of that. Eden Homes on Snow Island. Which one do you think has the best value?
have to tell you that this was sort of a trick question. None of them have great value. All of them are in the 10 to $30 range, something of that nature. The point being that these little pamphlets and things oftentimes do have value. That may not be a lot of value, but they are things that you ought to pay attention to. Frequently, when I go out to an estate or something, or people bring books into the store, I hear, oh, you have an interest in those things. We just threw out four garbage bags full of housing developments and that kind of thing. So the next time you're looking around the house or around Grandma's house, remember to look at some of those little scraps of paper. Some of them may be interesting. Some of them may have some value. I think you'd enjoy it.